In this video, you will be meeting people who work in water and wastewater careers. These are not actors. They are real people doing real jobs, and they will share their personal experiences with you. I started out as a laborer, um, uh, actually digging uh, manholes and uh, water valves uh, by hand for the paving crews, raising them up to grade so they could pave them. I started doing manholes and valves. And then my first year and the second year, I started in on the sewer shed doing flushing operations and I've been there ever since. I initially went to university to become a social worker. Uh, I graduated, uh, got my arts degree. Um, it didn't quite work out like I planned, but I'm very happy the way things are going now. I have a degree in political science from the University of Calgary, so I spent the first few years of uh, my career in a, what you'd say, white collar environment. Uh, office buildings, uh, marketing and communication roles, and eventually made the transition to uh, working outside and working in what I consider an environmental role. I worked in the oil patch and took this as a retirement job. I, I've been in uh, wireless telecom and transportation, but at some point uh, I needed something more than separating people from their money to, to make a career, so I kind of ended up here. For a person of my age, I said, where do you want to go? Hey, retire. Retire? Who's going to retire? I'm still, I, you know, I'm 50, but I'm still, you know, climbing mountains and hunting and fishing and all over this province. I think if I can do something that helps people and helps people in the community. Your main thing that we're doing in the sewer system is keeping sewer out of people's houses. That's your main priority, keeping sewers running and out of people's houses. That's pretty much what your job is. So the more you clean the sewers, the better they're going to run, the happier the people are around. There's uh, equipment operators, there's camera operators, there's uh, inspectors. We do a lot of inspections uh, to the sewer system, both new and old, on a regular basis. I'll go into an area in the city and, and do a video inspection to uh, just find out you know, the uh, condition of the pipe uh, to see if it needs servicing. But I've seen everything from flooding, helping people with sandbags, stopping the river from coming into their home, to, you know, showing up at people's homes, unfortunately, when, you know, the sewer is backed up. As a foreman, I mean, I, I think of myself really as uh, just a facilitator. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to work with a really dedicated group of men and women in uh, storm infrastructure. And really, it's just facilitating the jobs that we have to get done that day or that week, making sure the equipment's in, in working order, and that they're safe first and foremost, and then that we uh, do our best to return the storm water back to the uh, watershed with as few pollutants in it as possible. Uh, we all work as a team. I can't do my job without the flushers, and even the brushers, because they remove a lot of debris. But a lot of the times, I work alongside with the flushers, and they can reduce flow or move, remove debris for myself so we can, again, see the maximum view of the pipe. But now with these new uh, flushing uh, trucks that we have, um, you don't have to go down a sewer. Very, very, very seldom we now have to go down into a manhole, uh, which is uh, huge because it's, it's just, anything can happen. I mean, it's safe. We, we take all the precautions necessary. We, we're all trained and can find space and uh, fall arrest, so I mean, but still, if you don't have to go down uh, why, and eliminate the risk, uh, I mean, that's huge. Uh, in the time that I've been with the city, uh, technology has changed tremendously. With my equipment, I mean, it's, it's just amazing how responsive the camera is when you're controlling it. Um, when I'm at the desk, I have two controllers, two joysticks. One uh, controls the driving, reverse and forward, and the reel at the back as well. And the, my right-hand one controls uh, zoom, focus, lighting, open and close the iris. Today, nowadays, we very seldom have to actually dig out a sewer line. Uh, we have what we call uh, a lining program. You know, it's put out for a tender and, they, and then the companies uh, bid for the job and they get it. But what they do is they pull a liner through and uh, it's actually called cured in place. And they pull a liner through from one manhole to the other. And also for the lining program, uh, we video inspect to determine if the pipe that we were in is, is a prime candidate for, for lining. Some days it's pouring rain and you're standing out there on flooding the street. But it's interesting. Every day's good and the people you meet are usually pretty good. 
public is usually always happy to see you show up. It feels good when you can help somebody out, uh, whether it be a co-worker or a, a public citizen. Anytime there's a sewer backup and people are getting flooded, it's not a very pleasant experience. I take great pride in the fact that I, I have an environmental role. I worked in Fort McMurray. I made a lot of money. But at the end of the day when I went home, I had a lot of money. I get home at the end of the day here and I go, hey, you know what I did today? With some old guy and his toilet was backed up, and he's like 85 years old, and I got to do that and fix it, and they go, cool. And the pay's pretty good. I mean, they pay you pretty good, and the benefits are really good. We look for people that uh, have a willingness to want to learn and uh, are interested in working in the sewer maintenance department. Uh, the word sewer um, scares a lot of people. Uh, they think it's a dirty, grungy job, but in most cases it, it's not uh, with the equipment we have nowadays. It's very uh, clean. Um. An important attribute from my point of view is safety, your personal safety and the safety of others around you. We work in confined spaces, dark, noisy environments with heavy equipment around. It's most important that you look after yourself. Uh, we are also looking for people who are interested or have the ability to obtain the proper driver's license to operate heavy equipment. I tell young kids all the time I'm in a flushing truck and they come and say, well, is this a good job? Would I like to stay here? I said, you have great benefits. You get to make a difference. You get paid well. And here's the best part. They educate you to whatever you want. You want to run a backhoe? Here's the course. You know, we have a joke here. It's don't cry, apply. The opportunities are endless. There's just a lot of different areas of work that a person uh, can uh, have the opportunity to, uh, to try out. Nowadays, it's not taken many, uh, a long period of time for people to move around through all the retirements that are going on with the baby boomers. So uh, there's lots of opportunity. Uh, there is opportunity for advancement. Like with myself, I started out as a, as a brusher operator. And I take the next step up, which is for flushing, and then I went into hydro excavation, and now I'm trying to train to become a supervisor. I can't put enough on uh, career satisfaction. You work for a living to bring money home, to have a house and look after your family. If you can combine that with something that you feel really strong about ethically and environmentally, it really uh, wraps the whole thing up nicely. If you think that you'd like to be a water and wastewater professional, and you want to know more, then check out the online career center at the web listed at the end of this segment.